Hi, I'm Chris Gibbons and I work here at Kubar. I'm one of several technical specialists employed in the manufacture and application of specialist retail paints. The object of these little clips is to give you, the customer, uh, an opportunity to see and understand how these materials are applied and help you to understand how they work. In this clip we're going to talk about Kuvar Vandaline. It's available in four colours, red, black, green and grey and it's our offering to help prevent and reduce antisocial behaviour. It's a product that remains mobile, sticky, uh, liquid uh, and should therefore not be applied at a point which is less than about six foot from the ground to prevent accidental contact with the material. Um, also there is a, a moral obligation to advise individuals that the product is in situ so we always recommend that a warning sign be attached near or uh, near the point where the vandaline has been used to tell people that it's there. There are three lines of defence that vandaline affords. As I said previously, the first line of defence is that this material remains mobile. By mobile, it always stays sticky. So if you can imagine that that were painted on a vertical drain pipe, six foot or more above the floor, and you were using the drain pipe to get access and you came into contact with a slippery product painted on the drain pipe, you would not get purchase, reducing your potential to access the building. The second line of defence is that this material, um, in the event that you do gain access to the building and come into contact with it, that it readily marks your clothing and shoes, leaving a visible mark that people can see. It's also quite messy to get off if you try to get it off uh, after you've come into contact with it. Third line of defence is that embedded inside the material are trace elements that we can detect, we can extract from there and prove that it is actually Vandaline. So we can determine that these clothes that have come into contact with something black or black and sticky, we can extract it and say yes, that is Vandaline. When it comes to the application of the material, as we've said, it's a high viscosity product, so it's quite stiff in the can. Um, you're not expected to stir it, so we put a little sign on the side saying do not stir. You'll use it directly from the can. Also, um, the appropriate PPE, gloves, protective overalls, because if it gets on your clothes, it's difficult to get off. Physical application, using a mitt or a brush. With a brush, I suggest you cut the brush down to about 50% of the length so you get quite a stiff bristle. It helps spread the material out because it's quite a stiff material. You need to spread it out well. If you put too much of this material on and it gets warm, there's a potential for it to drip later on. Here we are at the application of Vandaline and in this case we've got an example of a PVC downpipe but it could equally be a cast iron downpipe steel down pipes, it could be concrete, it could be wood, it could be slate and tiles. Typical materials that you might find in a building environment. We would apply the material directly to the brush and then spread it out to about half a millimeter or less. We don't want it much more than half a millimeter because that just contributes to the risk of it sagging. So, Thank you for watching this short clip. I hope it's given you a better understanding of the use and application of our materials. For further advice and information, you can visit our website, kuvar.co.uk. Also on there, you'll find the line to call our technical services for friendly advice on professional products. Thanks for watching. Bye now.